Hey guys, today I'm going to teach you how to use the replay manager in Snow. Okay, so after you get your clip, you're going to want to go to the menu and then go to your replay manager. First of all, you're going to want to press F1 twice. That'll get you to the third person view. Then you're going to want to press G, which will, which will unlock your mouse so you can go all over the place. And scroll up to where you want to film your clip from and then press G again and then Q to rewind it. Press shift to go faster. Alright so there's a few commands you're going to want to know. I'll put them in the description. Alright the first command is the time of day. The time of day can drastically change how your clip looks and it's really important. Okay so you can either go to the advanced options and choose it which is right where you start off at. Okay um Personally, my favorite time is when the sun is setting, but you can experiment with all sorts of times. It's like just about here, or here. Okay, also, if you want a more detailed time, you can type in E underscore time of day, and then you can pick your time from there. Okay, so once you have your time down, you're going to want to know what field of view you want to use. I usually go with like 50. I think 50 is a pretty good one. Okay, so once you have that, you want to pick an angle from which you want to shoot from. Also, you notice it's really choppy when I move. To fix that, you're going to want to change how fast your mouse moves. So, you're going to do CL underscore cam detached rotation speed. If you press tab, it'll just complete it for you. I usually go with point zero 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 four. That's a pretty good one. It's nice and slow. Okay. So the next one, if you want to have like a moving clip where you're following, you're going to want to know how fast your camera wants to move. Okay. So it's the same beginning. You're just going to want to put speed. I usually go with 0.05. That's nice and slow and it's good for following. Okay, I usually film everything in uh, half speed because then you can slow it down good or speed it up. Okay, a new option that they added is depth of field. I don't think there's a command for this or I haven't found one yet. But you can go to the advanced options and find it here. So the focus range is what it's focusing on and like how much it's focusing on. So if you set it to 100, it'll focus on more at once. I usually keep it at 100. Um, the distance is what it's focusing on and how far away it is. So you're going to want to keep that around like 20 or yeah, 20 or 40 if you're getting close. Uh, the blur amount, that's how much blur there is. I usually keep it at 1, but if you want a little less, you can go below. Alright, so once you have all your settings done, the main keys you're going to want to use are W, A, S, D, and Q and E. Q takes you down, E takes you up, W takes you forward, S takes you back. A takes you left and D takes you right. Alright, for this clip I'm just going to be following on the side. Okay, once you're done moving around and stuff, you're going to want to press G. G makes it so you can actually rewind the clip and stuff. Pick a good point where you're ready to start at and then press D to advance. It usually goes 1, 3, 5, and 1. So I'll stay at 5. Make sure your clip is paused. Okay, so you're going to want to press enter and you're going to want to play it. Press tab and then press G. So now you'll start following. Alright, so the depth of field was a little off in that one, so now we can just change it where we messed up at, which is right about there. You're going to want to press tab to reshow the menu. And now I'll change the distance. To a little bit closer. All right. So now you can actually see them clearly. So go back to your starting point. Press Shift to speed up a little bit. Okay. If I were you, I'd go through the shot and make sure everything's in focus before you start filming it, just to be safe. Okay. So you're going to press D three times to get to half speed. Press Play, Tab, then G.
All right, and that's how you basically edit the clip in the replay manager. Thanks for watching. Um, also, a side note, you don't have to use the commands if you don't want to. All the commands I showed you are in the advanced options. I just use them because I started off using them.